There are four key concepts to understand in order to learn Airtable. You've got bases, tables, records, and fields. And with those four concepts, you can do a ton in Airtable. So let's get into each one of those one by one. In Airtable, the term base, which is short for database, is how you think about creating any new project. So if you take a look at our dashboard here at WhaleSync, here are a bunch of bases that we've created in Airtable, each one corresponding to different projects or different sets of work that we're actually working on. And so anytime you do something new in Airtable, you're gonna to wanna to start by creating a new base. And you can do that by coming here on the left side, hitting create, and then start from scratch. And of course you wanna add it to a workspace. Let's grab WhaleSync, we'll put it in there and start from scratch here. Once you start a new base or create a new base, uh, Airtable will automatically do a few things. So first of all, it'll create one new table for you. So this is the second big concept to understand. Within a base lives multiple tables. And if you're coming from the spreadsheet world, you can think about this as one spreadsheet or one base has multiple sheets or multiple tables, right? And so as Airtable makes it real easy with this first basic table, we can easily add some new ones. Let's add table two and table three, or even delete them. It's really uh, quick and easy to just spin up new tables, delete them, and go from there. Within each of these tables, Airtable will automatically include three empty records, or rows, again, if you come from the spreadsheet world. And each of these records is where you house data. So in this example, let's put some data here. Jane Smith, John Doe. We can give it a status, an assignee. And hopefully you're starting to see how this already differs from a spreadsheet like Excel, right? Each of these rows is meant to be an actual piece of data that you're working with. And we'll get into how in a little bit. So now you understand we've got bases, we have tables, we have rows. The last bit, which is a little obvious here, is the fields or columns, right? So each record in this Airtable base has a set of columns. You can add more. So let's go ahead and add a date field over here. And again, just like a spreadsheet, you can start to fill in that data. If you create a new row, you can start to fill that in as well. So those are really the four basic concepts of Airtable, bases, tables, records, and fields. And if you can master those four, there's really a ton you can build.